Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel and today we are doing your general October readings. These are general readings. If they do not resonate with you, please check your moon, rising, Jupiter or Venus. And I'm going to do a nine part spread for the middle of the week, the beginning of the, I mean, the beginning of the month, the middle of the month and the end of the month. Okay. All right, Scorpio. So let's get started. Let's see what's coming towards you and what's happening in your October, okay? What is so special about October? And what's not so special? So, all right. Okay. Middle of the month. Oh my God. And end of the month. Okay, so Scorpio, as I see before I read it, let me pull out the messages and keep them. We'll see them at the end of the reading, okay? All right, that just flew. I'm going to take that. That just landed on its own. So I take it here. Oops, okay. Here you go. What is this? I hate threads. Let's see some more. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, Scorpio, as I see in the beginning of the month, first 10 days, maybe 10, 12 days, there is definitely, you, you're moving towards something good. Okay. You are, trust me, and there is movement, double movement, okay? You have a positive movement, and there you have movement. So, again, as you move, you come towards certain areas where you might have to make choices, whether to keep going or to, because there would be these choices coming towards you. You might have to make some decisions on what you want, where you want. You are this person on this boat, the choice is yours, which way you want to go, okay? Towards the sun, away from the sun, towards the seagull, wherever. So that choice will open up for you. You will have choices. But what I feel is there are some hidden fears, okay? You're scared of change, maybe? Or maybe you're feeling a bit jittery. You don't want, you're resisting this change, I feel. I feel you're resisting this change. You're trying to resist it. You don't want it. Okay? Your love, the key to your love lies somewhere else. Because I see this key with a love heart. Okay? And enlightenment, if you notice this. See this? So, this enlightenment, but... You are the one who's stopping it. You, you're scared to go towards it. You don't know. You, you're a bit skeptical. Or it could be that there is somebody like that in your life who stops you from going towards what you want to do in life. Or you could be trapped in a situation where you're not able to move towards things that you want to do. You love. Because there are other responsibilities, people, situations which kind of pull you back. Every time you want to take that step forward, you are pulled back by them. Okay? So, this is what I'm getting in the mid beginning of October. You, you want to really, your heart lies somewhere else. You're going towards that. For some of you, you could be even traveling. You're going towards that. There are choices, but you're scared of those choices because that would mean going away from this. And maybe you're scared. That what the new thing will bring. Or there are people who are stopping you from going or moving forward in your life. Okay? 
Now what is coming in the middle of October, look at this. You are getting these choices now in your life. You're trying to resist it. But remember, this is your destiny. This is how things are supposed to be. This is why things are happening. Because this is your time. This is your time for the... This is your destiny. You're supposed to go towards things that you love. Spiritual union. You're supposed to go towards people that you love. You're supposed to be in the relationship where there is love. You're supposed to do things that you love. Because this is your destiny. This is how you are destined. This is how... It is supposed to be. This is the wheel of fortune. This is Things are turning. Things are not the same now. They've moved. Things have changed. So that's why you're faced with challenges. And you're faced with challenges, but there are people holding you back. There are relationships holding you back. There are your own fears which are holding you back. There are your own ego that holds you back. You know, there's nothing in that old one. You have to go towards this new one. You have to get rid of the old car and buy a new car. But you just cannot because there are memories attached to it. It could be as simple as that or it could be as complex as a relationship. But there's definitely a choice in the beginning of October. Okay? You might feel a bit emotional loss because you have to make choices. Whenever, you know, for all... A few other signs got this in the month of October and this was followed by some negative card in the next week. So that is because once you make a choice and you're happy with it, a few days later, a feeling of regret also sets in because, you know, you feel that because we are humans, we want to the best of both the worlds. We want to have both. We want to have, you know, it's like you want the New York City and you live in, let's say, London. Now, you have been given a choice where you can shift to New York and you move to New York. A few days you're very happy and then you start missing London. So you want the London in New York. You don't want to leave New York, but yet you miss London. Now, that's not possible. You cannot have London in New York or New York in London. Both the cities have a different flavor. So whenever, wherever you are, learn to enjoy that. So you might feel a bit emotionally at last. You might feel, you might miss certain old things. That is because you've gone to something new. That's because you were supposed to. That's your destiny. The, your destiny or your karma has taken you towards something new. You were resisting it in the beginning. But as you let go, you go towards it. You find your happiness. You find your love. It could be a person. Maybe you're breaking out of a relationship to be in a new relationship. But after a few days, you might have some emotional loss. You might feel, did I do the right thing? to the other person was it the right thing to do or did I make the right choice and as you come to the end of October look at this again a loss kind of feeling but this time it's more about financial losses so this feeling of loss that is because and it's all under the devil so this devil Card number 15. And then you have card number 5 and card number 5. So this devil kind of, I feel, is, it precipitates into two different feelings. First you feel the loss emotionally. And then you feel the loss financially or in material things. Maybe you miss that old car. Maybe you miss that old couch. Maybe you've moved city. You miss that old shop. You miss that old, um, you know, old vendor. Something old. You miss them. But this feeling of missing is there all the weeks. Middle of October, end of October. That is because you've made the choice in the beginning of October. Okay? But I see this 
it's no longer that emotional but you're thinking you're trying to be very rational but still you're missing something something but again what is coming towards you at the end of october see this the moon it your hidden fears it's your hidden fears it's nothing this this loss this loss is nothing but your hidden fears you're fearing something but you don't realize it is because you have completed the wheel of fortune was there in the middle middle of october end of october brings you to the universe full cycle the wealth card you have completed your last journey don't forget it you cannot go back to it you were resisting it but this choice was an indication that this is done with don't stop it go on with the flow you have reached a point in your life where you have to make that choice stick with it because your times are changing and you are in a new journey but it's the moon or your shadow side or your fear side which takes over and gives you this feeling of loss regret can i do it feeling in confidence that's the devil precipitating but this time with a lower vibration lower frequency but that's the devil precipitating in the next two weeks don't worry scorpio <coughs> don't worry because you made a very good choice you made the right choice this will give you love because your doors were open now you made the right choice so that gives you love that is because and you start your life on a new journey a with new set of people new path but whatever it is it's very new okay you are moving forward so destiny brings you the things that you were supposed to get because you were on the right track but sometimes your our fears take over so this devil comes in your mind and plays those mind games where you feel did i do the right thing did i make the right decision will this stay yes it's there don't think whether it will stay and how long it will stay it's right now it's time enjoy it okay all right so let's see your messages first week don't compromise so don't let this devil take over don't let your old temptations your old fears take over that's why your messages here as don't compromise there are choices make those choices okay second week your message vision think of long term because your time is changing this is destiny you're going to get visions okay pay attention to what your spirits are trying to show you pay attention to your vision because something good is coming your way a new love this has been coming since last month this is your time something good is coming so don't worry don't don't worry about the devil think of long term your vision okay and your third week learning experience pay attention to your learning experience because you are in a new cycle now so your old experiences are going to help you make this new journey easy okay so pay attention to what lessons you learned what life has taught you so far and make use of these experiences in the new relationship new work new way of new lifestyle use those experiences there okay let's see your message more first week breaking bad habits there you are breaking bad habits breaking the devil breaking these temptations coming out of these temptations so self acceptance excellent mental health and letting go of vices your devil is your vice inside you and your message is that breaking bad habits so you break the devil don't compromise don't compromise to the devil break it break it okay break it come out of it because right now you have that option somebody is giving you that option think you've been trapped you've been house arrested for years let's say somebody has come to your rescue they've opened the door the devil is not at home and the other person is asking you to come out and to run to flee but if you are scared of the devil when he returns what he's going to do then you will never be able to come out instead you have that don't compromise just walk out okay 
break that bad habit of dependency. Maybe you're codependent on somebody. It's time you need to break that habit. Second week, trick of five, manifesting money and income. So, this is destiny. This is money time. You're going to get some abundance, love, money, whatever you want. So, pay attention to your visions. Because it's destiny. Don't think, don't feel emotionally at loss. You're getting something. So learn to be happy with the thing that you're getting. Don't think about the things that you're not getting. Okay? Third week, spirit. Heavenly assistance from your angels and guides. Yeah? That's why the learning experience. Your angels and guides are by your side. There is spirit working with you. You have protection. You have protection. That's why... The learning experience, that's why the world. So don't feel so low. Don't feel sad. Because you have all the good things coming your way. You're out of the devil now. You're into something new. Something fresh, something new. Something exciting starting for you. You know, I get this feeling you're almost there. Something exciting. But it all depends on what choices you make. Okay? All right, Scorpio, this has been a fantastic reading for you. October seems to go, seems to be going well for you. It, it's going to go good, okay? Just come out of the old fears and start a new you. Start a new journey. This is a very good time for any new thing that you want to start, okay? And I'll see you later with your other videos. Do check out your finance. Do check out your love video for the month of October. That gives you a complete idea about the entire month. And I'll see you later. Till then, stay positive, make those changes, and bye.